Welcome. So when I was taking this physics course, me and my friends at UC Santa Barbara got a whole bunch of plastic bottles and put on a giant board and created a little raft for ourselves. So when we were doing this project, we were figuring out how many half liter bottles we needed to get in order for this raft to hold all us, me and three friends, which were about 300 ki uh, kilograms. So we have the mass of the payload, we're gonna say is 300 kilograms. And this was in the ocean, so the density of seawater was 1020 kilograms per meter cubed. So we just did a simple calculation where we had us as a point particle, and then we said that we had to have a force of buoyancy, and then we had to have it counteract a force of gravity. So, right, a very good use of this new force of buoyancy thing. So in our organized step, we want to do Newton's second law. So we have that our acceleration is going to be the force of buoyancy minus the force of gravity over the mass of the whole thing. And then, as we're thinking about it, if we want it to float, we want these forces to be zero because we don't want our object to actually sink, nor can it really float up. So we say then that's zero. And so then we can say that zero is equal to the force of buoyancy minus the force of gravity. Or we can say that force of buoyancy is equal to the density of the fluid times the volume displaced times g minus 300 kilograms times g. So we can solve for this volume to displace by first off canceling the g's and then moving this 300 kilograms over and dividing by 1020 uh, kilograms per meter cubed and that's equal to our volume displaced. So we've uh, substituted in the density of seawater. So if we look at that, that volume displaced is going to be 0 0.294 meters cubed. So to solve for this, now we have our volume displaced is 0 0.294 meters cubed, and we know that one meter cubed is equal to 1,000 liters, so then we have 294 liters of displaced volume. If we have that, then write 200, and then we have each bottle is 0 0.5 liters, then we'd have to multiply this by 2, and so we'd get 588 bottles needed. So we then <laughs> solved that physics problem and then had a lot of weekends of taping them up and created a raft uh, to navigate around the oceans of Santa Barbara with. But just a nice quick example of how to use buoyancy and how to solve questions involving buoyancy.